What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are finally starting back into Troubleshooter. I've had to kind of let this game sit on the shelf. Uh, I mean, one, you know, my uh, my old PC, um, you know, rest in peace. Well, I guess not rest in peace. I just need to wipe the thing and then restart it up, and it might be fine. I don't know, but um, I, you know, I'm, I'm finally starting to get into some back into some PC games here on my on my new computer. Um, it's just I have to make sure that they're that the saves are um, fine, especially everything on on Steam. Sorry, little inside uh, inside channel stuff that you guys probably don't really give too much of a shit about. Either way, we're back with Troubleshooter. I don't know what all got changed uh, since the last video. Uh, I'm going to really try and make this series a lot more consistent. I mean, this series has really gotten a lot of views, and people uh, really seem to like it. I, I dig the game. It's just, it's just been a time issue so either way let's hop into uh whatever's going on here i've not seen this uh this uh this time of day has become the time i get off from work sigh it wouldn't be like this for a while no i should bring myself together okay let's head in here oh okay it's Albus often works late into the nights, busy with paperwork um, that was delayed due to the constant missions. Where, uh, where did we seize this loot? Da, 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 da. In the past, uh, when there were fewer missions, Albus was able to um, rely entirely on his memory for the sort of paperwork, but now there was simply too much to remember. Sigh. I can't go on like this anymore. Let's organize things for now. Albus proceeded... Uh, God damn it. Pro I can't read for shit. Albus processed the paperwork steadily, but a massive backlog had built up while he was busy with missions. All this work would be easy to process if I could just do it every day. Dot, 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 dot. He had no idea when he would be free to do this again. Albus silently focused on the work in front of him. After a while, the key part here is tracking the materials of our spoils. Putting it off only makes things more difficult. In the future, I'll note down material information, updating uh, the troublemaker lists, or while updating the troublemakers list. Okay, so I'm guessing that's just a new way to tell us that hey, here's this new feature, whatever. Because th this game is still in early access. I I made sure because if it was a uh, my my theory was you know what if this game left early access, I think I'd just start over and just you know do a playthrough of like the main finished product, but. Hell, I'm trying to remember everything that was going on, even, um... Shitload of training manuals. Hero is my dream. Trigger positive buff when activating hero in hero state. I have no idea what the whole hero state is. Uh, again, that might have might be something new. Thank you, game. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of training manuals. Like I said, I have not loaded this game up in a while. Forgot I got to actually click here, then confirm. Training manual. Training manual. More training manual. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it all just training manuals? All right. Well, that was. Oh, wait, no. There's, there's still more. There we go. Material index is a list of all the sources of the materials earned from the sites of the listed at. The information is automatically updated with troublemaker list and craftable items list. Uh, God damn it! I wish I had my old my desk back. Um, list based. The case is solved. So I, I'm, I'm trying to read around my microphone. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Mission control. Like I said, I, I've, I've sat here and kind of yacked enough. Let's see here. Oh, actually, no. Before I did I do hop into that, I do want to kind of go through my uh, go through my characters. Yeah, because uh, I we have sort of new classes. I don't know what you'd call these. They're like special classes, subclasses. Um, right, yeah, here, you know, we started off as a swordsman, and now we could go to a great swordsman, or a magic knight. The way I play, um, you know, I made him a great swordsman, 
kind of a look at his his stats right now. My abilities, you know, we still have Wind Slash, Gentle Breeze, Fresh Breeze. Uh, we have this Tornado Slash ability, which um, t t deals 175 plus 100% attack power, ESP, blah, blah, blah. Slash damage, continuous slashing. You know, it's, it's basically a new slash attack. And we also have the Gale Slash, our um, mastery. Not mastery, it's... um. Trying to think what to call it are um I I don't know. It's the like the ultimate attack for Albus. And then we have these two, which we can unlock in a later date, but we need the class level. Uh, which we get Storm Slash and then turning over a new leaf. So basically Albus is just a really good um a, a, a swordsman. There we go. There we go. So that's what's going on with Albus, and we got Scion, who I have as a battle mage. Again, making him more of a distance sort of fighter. He's got flash hit, taking a look at all of his abilities. I want to change ability, I want to look at change class. There we go. Um, so, let's see here. So we ha could either have black magic or battle mage. I'm trying to remember what... Trying to see his speed. Gives him more ESP, but uh, I like the pure attack power of Battle Mage. It like, makes him a little bit more, uh, a little more beefy. See, he also has less health. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a little bit more. I don't want to say he's more of a tank, but he's got a little bit more, uh, more physical defense. Like he can fight long range. He can fight a little better up close, making you know just kind of making him a little, little better. And then again, we have the um, skills that we can unlock as we upgrade our class, and we have all these abilities that we already have. I know this is kind of weird just running through all this shit, but again, I, I, I wanted to show everyone everything that's kind of changed since the last uh, last time we played while I was sort of just sitting here, just leveling up. Oh, God damn it, I clicked the wrong button again. Change class. Uh, with Irene, we have Martial Artist as opposed to Battle Mage. Again, just making her a lot more uh, physical, a lot beefier. Uh, we still have Sheer Drop. Flame Wield Charge, the Salvage Lesser, and then she can get the Snatching Ability, uh, taking the Bull by Horns, and uh, taking a Deep Breath, which again, we'll unlock those as we rank up in class. Um, I think everyone has a special class by now, yeah. White Mage, obviously, I picked her for our, to be our healer. We also could have had her be a Witch, but again, I even though her uh, her Starlight move is super strong, I, I still want her to be more... Or Starlight Arrow, excuse me, is a really strong move. I'm still using her more as, a like, the healer. Sort of a support unit. And then we got good old... Uh, good old Hazing. I'm, I'm still going with Hazing. I'm not entirely sure if that's still correct. And with him, he's a Sweeper, as opposed to a Ranger. Which, uh, if I remember correctly, it makes him good at uh, hitting more, ca you know, shooting multiple enemies at one time, as opposed to. Yeah, I, I think from I'm trying to remember my the reasons why I made this uh, made this decision, but I, I think I made I made the decision for sweeper because it's more of a. Um, it, it makes him more useful fighting groups of enemies as opposed to one singular enemy. So, all right. Well, there we go. And there's all our current levels. So we're. Uh, I, I've attempted this mission before and got my ass handed to me. So I uh, thought we'd uh, we'd take a look at this. Is the iron for? Uh, we're going in, back into the iron forest, looking for these size stones that'll get explained what the hell those things are, and we get to fight a bunch of those dog things, and we also get. Uh, Get Kylie back. I, I want her to join the team. I, I like her. I like, I like her weapons. So, uh, there we go. Let's get to it. In the past, only the Chosen Ones were believed to possess ESP. This had long been reflected in the great after... or the, Every time I read that, it's after the great Adder Empire social system. In modern times, ESP, energy... Has proven to be uh, has proven to be true. ESP is classified into six attributes based on how it manifests: fire, ice, lightning, wind, earth, and water. This manifestation of an organism's genetic information can be given to others through gene transplantation. Using ESP as an energy source and making it available to everyone, 
In pursuing these two goals, researchers sought to utilize ESP as a way of solving humanity's chronic uh, resource depletion problems. Countries around the world were enthusiastic about these attempts and dreamed of a new energy age for mankind. Soon, however, serious side effects appeared among those who received genetic transplants from ESP users, ESP users and many began to die. Even among those with no side effects, mastering the use of ESP took far longer than anticipated. In addition, research showed that the uh, sorry. In addition, research showed the efficiency of transferring energy manifest from organisms was lower than expected. Eventually, the utilization of ESP as a resource, which was thought uh, to be the hope of humanity, fades into just another field of research. However, the possibility of success continued to attract constant attention from researchers. They, dis uh, they discovered that energy from ESP accumul accumulates in certain minerals, which they called cystones. Cystones were spo uh, cystone was spotlighted as a new source. Cystone was spotlighted as new source of energy among countries that were tired of securing resources in resource utilization of ESP. Research was sponsored once again. Soon afterwards, mankind successfully extracted usable uh, energy from cystones. As the energy extraction process was simplified and extraction equipment became more uh, portable, Competition to secure resource-rich areas became more intense. Places with high concentration of ores that can absorb ESP. Places where ESP manifests constantly and frequently. Places where these two uh, conditions hold are called a rich vein. In a rich vein, psionic stones appear constantly and in large numbers. No reports have ever found a rich vein forming near residential areas, and most uh, are found in nature where animals and plants with ESP live. Rich veins tend to uh, disappear if they are neglected after forming. This is due to the phenomenon of power resonance. Power resonance uh, refers to the phenomenon which objects, in which objects which have accumulated excessive amounts of energy resonate with each other, causing the amount of energy distribu uh, distributed throughout the ore to exceed its bearable limit, resulting in a mass explosion. This explosion causes chemical charges or changes to the ores in the area, making them uh, lose their ability to accumulate ESP. Also, the death or migration of the district's organisms causes the loss of ESP manifestation. Therefore, countries have secured rich veins put in considerable effort to prevent them from disappearing. So this is where we get we get to run around and grab these stones. Rich vein designate okay. National Police of the Windwall District manage that the engineers are dispatched regularly to check the status. They would extract more energy from the ores if size stone are concentrated. God damn it. People were allowed to hunt for beasts in the district that are able to manifest ESP. This management was sustained with no problem for a long time. But recently, Timas uh, started to... God damn it. Uh, the management's district... God damn Stupid microphone. Eventually, the National Police of Valhalla decided to check current status again through Engineer Kylie. Son of a biscuit. I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to read around my microphone. It keeps disappearing, and I'm trying to check words, and it goes away, and I get sad. I need at least five different types of energy extracted from size stones in order to figure out the level of energy accumulated in the district. Aren't there six types of size stones? Uh, energy level in a district tries to maintain a balance among different types of energy. Therefore, it's possible to assume the last type of energy level when the information about the other five of energy is known. Oh, not bad. Wow, hazing, bro. That, I, that, it pains me. Like, like, my heart hurts a little bit every time I have to say that. Cool. Hazing, he is really different from how he looks. How does he know that? He's not the type to study. Never thought that I would do such work coming here. Life is tough. Not an, uh, not an exciting to do, whatever. I brought a total of four energy extractors. Energy extractors has a fixed uh, number of trials, so use properly. Ah, the, uh, there aren't plenty of them. There aren't plenty of materials because of spoonists and white tiger gangs these days. I got it. I will take one, so distribute the remaining ones to the others. All right. All right, Miss Kylie. Okay, so this is, this is kind of, uh, the, the, 
words are hard. This is kind of dangerous because you have to put because if the person dies, you can't pick them up. You lose that extractor. So you need them with characters who have you know, like high health. So actually, I'm going to go with Anne because you know she's going. Oh god damn it! I didn't want to give it to Anne. I wanted to give it to Irene. I don't know what Irene's getting one because of her high health. No problem, Albus. Is it uh, Yashus or Dororus in this district? I don't know. Miss Kylie will proceed on our mission. Got it. Take care, eleventh hour. All right. Well, I guess having it on Anne, one, she doesn't. It's not like she has low health, but at least because I kind of keep her in the back. I'm trying to think here. Um, because I, I because I'm usually going to keep her in the back because she's more of a support unit. I guess she can run around while everyone else engages a target. Eh, so I guess that that would work. Um, you may check your sight and possible targets from a particular perspective by clicking the Show Combat Preview button or by pressing the V key during the mission. Sight will be shown uh, with white lines, while movements and abilities will be shown with their lines the same colors. Oh, cool. Oh, nifty. I know, I, I can't believe I'm saying that word. I actually kind of like that. That's neat. Hmm. Debating, do I want to come across here on these bridges? Or... I kind of scout these bridges, make my decision. You know, earlier, I'm sorry if I kind of got bogged down in all the explaining new stuff. When I take a lot of time off of a game like this and like a whole bunch of shit changes, it kind of makes me work. Sorry about that. I, uh,. Got a got a something popped up half something popped up halfway through that sentence. Um, no, what I was saying is uh, um, go, go, go. when I, when I'm trying to explain like or you know kind of run you through some some new stuff and what I found, um, I it's, I, I kind of battle within myself of well what's important enough to talk about what's you know try and keep it concise. I'm not a very concise person. Yeah, it's it, it's a it's just a giant cluster. Okay, uh, grant battle command by using the explosive. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I, I, I've already known about that stuff. What's this? Okay, afternoon. All units sight increased by one. Um, fire ESP attacks, critical chance increased by 20%. Vigor increases by two. And camera status. Oh, really? We get camera status. Oh, that's nifty. I don't know why I'm saying nifty. I never use that word. What is wrong with me? I guess we got. Start sending up this guy. I guess I'm going to kind of start scouting across this bridge. I guess we Don't want to move too far. I'm not seeing anyone just yet. Pop her into cover. All right, I think we're we're looking good over on that side. So we'll start moving across. I like the little happy faces. Hazing will try and keep him back here, kind of in cover. And can use these, uh, use the side of this bridge. God damn, I love Scion's last name. Bloodwalker. Hiding in the bush. 
Okay, I still don't see any enemies. Okay, I see a rock up there. Seeing one or two over here, too. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna start moving in this direction. I guess I'm done. Drop him in there. Keep him, have him kind of like back up hazing right now. Grab cover on that wall. Game on, gamers. I'm too far away, I can't get any shots. Okay, unit status still stands. When action point is not consumed at the start of the turn, uh, which shows the status of the unit appears blue. Aim increases by oh by oh that's interesting. I'll pop him in there into cover. Fifty nine percent to hit. Fifty nine. Well, if we're going fifty nine, oh wow, it's a ninety five percent chance to crit. Oh hell yeah! The action time of a character increases when using abilities which with cast delay, okay. Whatever. All I know is that was pretty sweet. Although I guess that's what you get when you have like a 95% crit chance. Yeah, I think everyone was, I think was on the, like the verge of a level up. Drop an Overwatch. Up and into cover. Yeah, I'm trying not to get too aggressive. Yeah, pop her into cover right there. Alright, nobody's around. Alright, that's half cover. The next turn I can scan that. Pop her up here. Just kind of conceal where she is. Just try and boost some of her defenses. And I'm going to pop these guys up and just kind of like high points. To lay down, uh, lay down some overwatches. Just trying to clip these guys as they're coming in to make a uh, make our counterattacks a little easier. Because I got a feeling they're going to be going in after Albus. Yeah, that's a, it's a guess, but I think it's a I think it's a safe guess. Now they're going after Kylie. Holy shit, that one critted? Nah, 
bad. I blocked. Now my counter attack. Of course, a requesting backup. Yeah, but all she all she can do is go up and attempt a hit. Yeah. There we go. Pop out or pop my said Albus pop sign up here into some higher cover. 68, if this hits, it crits. Like that. Sadly, he is a uh, an electric-based character, but, you know. What's the expression? Beggars can't be choosers? Why are my crit chances so flippin' high? Anyone else notice that? Okay, so I can hit him, 100% him, get the definite kill. I'm going for the I'm going for the guaranteed kill. She's not lost any health yet. I'll send Albus in as backup. Shit. Send, uh, send and up, and, an, an up here in the bush. Oh, I forgot about this guy here. Oh, well, we'll hit him with our starlight arrow. There we go. God, it's amazing how easy some of these levels are when you're actually at a uh, at the proper level to handle them. Like I keep running into that problem where I'm trying to uh, take on missions that I'm not I'm nowhere near um I, I, I'm I'm not at the right level for. Like that was that was my big problem. Like like another reason why I took so long after this uh, off this game is because I was spending so much time level grinding just trying to get up to a. Um, point where I could start taking some of these missions. Go team. Nice dodge, Irene. Okay, 68. But, I mean, this hits. It basically crits. And we get the kill. Frankly, I'm not I'm not too worried about this one cuz I have a feeling he's going to Oh no, he's coming at really. I figured he'd go after Albus. Interesting. <laughs> not going after the character I thought he was going to go after. I'll drop thunderbolt on him. God, that move's awesome. And with Kyrie, energy extract, and that's the flame element. Okay, so we don't need this one. Let's start moving towards these ones over here. Ah, cute little bats. Kind of hold position for now. Same with Albus. Just kind of come over here, hold up. Like there was a that's Rock of Storm. Ooh. You know what? Although I'll hold here with Albus and everyone. I'll send uh, Irene over there to kind of. 
I'm trying to think how best to explain my what I'm gonna do with her. Although that that changed my plan a little bit. So let me rephrase. That changed my plan a lot. Okay, keep her up in the bush. Cause that at least boosts her dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the stone. There it is. It's a size stone. Blah blah blah. Right. And we'll call down the. God damn, that move is great. I said this before. That move is shockingly hard hitting for a character that's supposed to be like your support unit. There we go. Good shot. Good shot. I know the guy on the screen can't hear me, but I still want to... I, I feel like he, he needs praise. Go up with our Wind Slash. There we go. Alright. Well, I was going to send Irene over this way, but in all honesty, I don't really see the need to. So we'll drop uh, Kylie over there and we'll search that, uh, that sample. And that's going to be a wind sample. Storm fragments. Alright, what are we looking for? Still, okay, so we're still looking for those storm fragments. There's three more remaining. Alright. For well for right now though, let's let's deal with uh deal with those who are right in front of us. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to have to start charging over that way anyways. Okay. Um, at water areas, dodge and defense decreased by 10, movement decreased by 1, but lightning damage increased by 50%. Mark will be shown at the lower left hand. Side. Okay. All right. I mean, stuff that makes I guess makes perfect sense. I'm gonna start sending some of my range guys around this way. See if I can start getting them to flank. Oh God! All right. Need to start healing her. Go, Magic Rubik's Cubes. Oh, damn. I was hoping that would uh, knock him into the rock wall. I was thinking that might cause him... Um, I can't think what the move's called. Um... Might stun him, but I guess I was incorrect. Holy shit! Right, note to self, those things do that. And love that they're standing in water and I have a lightning user. <laughs> Sweet. 
Faint is a chain reaction uh, that is activated when a human or beast with water or polluted water field effect is hit with lightning critical attack. Enemy becomes stunned. Faint is... Oh, cool! Go Scion. Off my desk, cat. Oh, almost knocked over my glass. That would have been bad. <laughs> Good job, kid. Good job. What shatter do? This, uh... Ice attacks critical damage. Ooh. If I get an ice user, that would be useful, but I don't have one right now. Come on, Irene. Just stay alive. That's fine. That's fine. Stay alive, Irene. Just until Anne gets a chance to heal. I'm not close enough. I know this is probably a really dumb move. And I'm probably getting really cocky because I'm actually fighting pretty well here, but... Send her in here. Drop the healing. There we go. Now you guys are hanging out down here. You're just easy fodder. Kind of feel bad that I'm just, I'm sending my the, my guy with the least amount of health, kind of out on his own to kind of just figure shit out. <laughs> right, I'm gonna send Albus over to back up Kylie. All right, with Irene's turn, go up here. And that's a lightning element, or flash fragment, whatever. Drop back down into cover. I wonder where the spider is. Like if you see the the next thing that's gonna make take an action. Ah, there they are. Big white Dorori. I'm going to send the suppressors over to try and back up pacing. Drop down overwatches. You don't have that. Send the kid over. Back up those two. Just kind of have him hold position. Because frankly, when these guys come over, I'm not. I'm not too worried about them. I mean, they don't have. As far as I can tell, they don't have a whole hell of a lot of health, and they don't do a lot of damage. This, the Timas are way more annoying. And my counter. I can't remember if if I get I'm trying to remember how I because I have that skill with my counter attack if it's if I get hit I immediately do a critical damage or if I miss I immediately do critical damage did Irene just get killed no okay even then she's fine oh wow this thing's like a boss and we've still almost completely killed it what was I talking about 
Oh, right. Um, Albus has a special ability with his... Um... Bingo. With his counterattack. That, uh... I, I, he has two different things. One of them guarantees a hit on the counterattack, and one guarantees a critical. I think if Albus is hit, it guarantees a critical. If it's a miss, I'm guaranteed to hit. I can't remember exactly, though. Basically... Albus's counterattack is probably one of the most dangerous things about his character. Start setting up Anne, and I'm going to, uh, there we go, drop Calling of Stars, that'll get rid of the bleeding status effect, there we go, run her up, and she can't see anybody, so we might as well open the chest. Magenta Sentinel Jacket of Starlight Wall. And we will send the inventory and just um, increase vigor. Oh, shit. A little bit more damage than I thought it was going to do, but well, whatever. You bastards. Is it my turn yet? Go in with my normal slash. Yeah, I figured. Send up the kid. Yeah! Nice shot. When I first equipped that lightning ball skill, I think rarely hit. Okay, I'm seeing water stones over there, and he just landed next to me, so I get a counter. See, but it's hard to tell if I'm getting the critical hit because I hit or not because my because Albus's critical chance is so flippin' high. <laughs> Knocking him out with crits. Ah, smart. Now I can't get my, uh, can't use my ability. Yes, I realize I should have moved out of the water, but... When have I ever been known for making smart decisions? Why not? Ah, crap, I misclicked. Yeah, I don't get my second action. I get my overcharge. Overcharge. That what that's what the ability was. I was thinking. Uh, eh, why not? Let's have fun. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
목표로 이동하겠습니다. Alright, there's another stone, the mist element, I'm assuming that's water. So now all we need is the earth and or, um, earth or ice, earth or ice. Oh. Yeah, I think I found a found a stone up here. So it's sending Irene up. All right, interesting move. Go, af go after that, uh, the chest. Hop up here with Anne. I'm gonna heal up, uh, Irene before I send her too far in front of everyone. Hit him. Knocked out almost half his health bar. Not bad. Yeah, let him scurry. Move her up. Yeah, I know. I should be going for the kill, but I want the items. <sighs> Sentinel jacket of Starlight Wall. Sent it to the inventory. Got it. Start sending everyone up. I have a feeling that once we get all this, uh, once we get enough of these, um, can't think uh, these samples. We're gonna have to kill all the remaining enemies. That's generally how these missions go. Use her uh, overcharge. Grab some full heals. I guess So sending Kylie this way, see where she's gonna go. Check out the box. Scout's assassin uniform. Uh, we'll look into it later. Yeah, frankly, I'll just kind of hang out right now, focus on restoring everyone's vigor. Be 
Because I got a feeling that we're going to have to really get, in his, get into some fights later. Except Kylie, she's going after after uh, objects. Store that. Okay. Take a step over. There we go, and Earth Energy Sample done. Oh wow, I didn't have to fight everything? Ah, how did this happen? Are we in a bad situation? It's not good. It wasn't this bad until last week. Can't we just increase the amount of energy extracted? It's easier said than done. Extracting among those beasts is impossible for normal people. Hmm... What caused this to happen? I'm assuming that the number of beasts with ESP increased during the night. Otherwise, it wouldn't increase that this fast. How can you be certain it happened during the night? It's not possible to increase this much uh, with the number of beasts we saw a while ago. The population of beasts varies between day and night in this district. The energy levels is higher compared to those uh, to the number of beasts there are now, so it's definitely due to the beasts in the night. I got it. You guys did well for now. The National Police will decide about the management district when they see my report. Okay, we will come to help when we have spare time. Okay, I thought I'd have to uh, fight everyone. Guess not. After reviewing Kylie's report, the National Police permits beast hunting in the Iron Forest Resource Management District. Moreover, in order to encourage troubleshooters who struggle to handle the increasing number of crimes, the resources and materials earned from hunting wild beasts in the district are admitted as loot for troubleshooter companies. Okay, so this is, gives us new enemies to go fight. Due to the National Police's unprecedented uh, decision, encourage numerous troubleshooter companies to join the hunting of uh, beasts. This is due to the fact that most troubleshooters in Windwall District doesn't want to come across the White Tiger Gang. Okay. So basically, we can come out here and do more crap. That was a, that was a neat picture. Everybody's subclass is boosting. Can I get Kylie as a as a character for our uh, for our group, please? I like her. Happy payday! Eh, I forgot it's payday today. I could give a bonus, but yeah, I got plenty of cash. Give him a bonus. I was thank you. I'm gonna work even harder. Yeah, you better. A bonus is very unexpected. I usually give give them bonuses. I don't know why it's unexpected. Uh, all right, well, guys. Oh, you, ooh, they all can. Ooh, they have new moves. We'll take a look at that stuff next in, in the next one. Albus, yes, Miss Irene. Can I get a day off sometime when we're not too busy? Huh? Oh, it's uh, uh, oh, it's nothing. I just have some private things to work on. I'm sorry, Miss Irene. I've been greedy to take all those requests. After all, it's fine, Albus. I'm doing this because I like this. I, um, I can handle it later if there's any urgent requests. Got it. I'll check the bulletin right away. Um, last time I did this, I ended up getting myself kind of stuck because I was um, really underleveled. So uh, I'll, I'll wait a little bit before we, we start that mission. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, there we go. There's uh, Finally, we're back with Troubleshooter. Tell me how you guys thought. Uh, about this like do you guys want to see me micromanage all the characters you know like the skills or whatever or just make my best decisions and kind of run you throughout the start of each video um or do you want to see me actually sit and walk through my thought process of what skills i want mixed in like what um abilities and whatnot you guys want to see um let me know in the comments and uh i'll try and i'll try my best to keep that up but uh like like i said at the beginning i'm really going to try and make this series a lot more um a lot more consistent because i've really been getting a lot of views with these and i see that a lot of people really like this series so uh i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching facebook twitter the website minds.com links that stuff is down in the description like comment you're not already please subscribe to the channel stay tuned more next time till then my name's aj gels the something game channel i'm out